nation's doctors calling for a permanent fix that would prevent Medicare from cutting back on treatments for the elderly. We have a first on Bloomberg interview. Dr. James Rohat, president of the American Medical Association, joins us now from our Washington bureau. Dr. Rohat, welcome to Bloomberg. Good to see you again. Great to be here, Mark. Dr. Rohat, uh, that permanent fix, is that feasible in this political climate right now? Well, the AMA has been fighting for many years to make sure that seniors, as well as those on military programs through TRICARE, have access to physicians. This formula that Medicare pays physicians really has been broken, and Congress has been putting Band-Aids on it, and it's time to really fix it once and for all. If uh, there's doctor participation in this public option, would that be diminished if those reimbursements are pegged to Medicare rates plus about 5%? Well, we know that it's very important to have access to physicians and that if the payment doesn't allow you to keep a viable physician practice, it's tough to keep your office open. So what we want to do is focus on what's happening now in the Senate, Senate Bill 1776 by, by Senator Stabenow. It, we need to get this passed to move forward with a permanent fix to the physician payment formula for Medicare so that we can make sure that access not only for the current beneficiaries, but those baby boomers that are going to start entering Medicare in two short years, that they have access to physicians also. Dr. Rohak, also you mentioned that there is a version of this moving through. Should it be part of the health care reform effort that's going on? Should it be separate? Does it matter to you all as long as it gets done? The important thing is it needs to be fixed. And we've been, this is something that predates the current discussion on health system reform, because since 2001, the AMA has been fighting every other year, seven times over that time period, to get Congress to fix the formula. And all they've done is put Band-Aids on it. Well, we believe now's the time, if you're going to make health system reform work, you have to fix this formula. Yeah, but Dr. Rohak, how do you pay for it? Well, Congress, when they have looked at this formula in the past and put Band-Aids on it, really recognize that the budget doesn't make sense. And so we believe it's time to fix the formula and put it back to a zero baseline. So as we look at the future of how do we incent not only keeping people healthy, but also keeping them out of uh, hospitals by making them more healthy, this right. is how the incentives have to work. Doctor, can the AMA support any health reform measure that doesn't include a public option? We are committed to making sure that affordable quality health insurance coverage for all Americans happens. And this year is a great year to say, how can we improve the insurance model so people have affordable quality health insurance? And what about if, if health care reform doesn't include the reimbursement uh, reform that you're talking about? Well, we recognize that if we have to face as physicians a 40 percent cut in our payment from Medicare and TRICARE over the next six years, it's going to be very difficult to keep your office open. And if you, and for many communities that, that only have one or two physicians, if one of them closes up their practice, then that whole community now is it, so, it has a problem for access. So, Dr. Rohak, is that a no, then, that you wouldn't support the broader health care reform if it doesn't have some sort of uh, reimbursement reform? Well, we believe that we got to have health reform that's going to work, and it's got to be sustainable. And so that if you have a formula that continues to penalizes physicians for doing what's right for patients, keeping them healthy, keeping them out of the hospital, it's very difficult for us to see how that's going to be a sustainable future for American health care. Dr. Rohak, we have about 20 seconds left. Is health care reform going to get done this year? We believe that a, a, a firm steps have to be taken because if we don't do anything, the status quo is unacceptable. We think that there's enough discussions that say there's common ground on many things that we're pushing for it. But as we've said before, right. if we don't have the physician payment formula taken care of this year, right. it's going to be very difficult to have a sustainable future. Dr. James Rohack, president of the American Medical Association, joining us from Washington. Thanks.